Hello, once again, welcome to Audio Tech. My name is Timothy, and I'm delighted to have you back on my channel. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to create an amazing cool effect in PowerPoint with just one image. We're going to create everything from just one image. So let's look at what we're going to create. So this is my full image, and then we just want to focus on different parts of this interior of the building. So we want to focus on the TV, the AC, the light, the table and then the sofa within the interior so let's play this and see how this is going to show so you can see when you play this slide it's going to focus on the tv it will focus on the ac it will focus on the light it will take you to the table that's the table over there and then you finally come to the sofa and it will present you with your full image so this is what we're going to create and if you enjoy this tutorial remember to like share and then also hit the comment section, give me a comment and then I will attend to you. Remember to subscribe and if you are new to this channel, you are welcome. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So let's look at how we can create this cool effect in PowerPoint. Before you do this, you need to have an image with very high resolution. If you don't know how to download a high resolution image, when you go to Google and you search for that image, just go to Tools, and then with where we have sizes, just change the size to what large. And the image that will be displayed to you will mostly be images with very high resolution. So it will give you image with high resolution that you can use. So you can download any image and then you can use that. This image doesn't belong to me. And then I give credit to the rightful owners of this particular image. Just one image that I downloaded and we're going to create everything out of this. So we're going to start and then I'm going to open a blank page and then we can start. So I'm going to file go to new and then a blank presentation we're starting everything from scratch so this is our presentation let's see how we can create this cool effect from just one video one image sorry so creating everything from just one image so i'll delete this let me just delete this i just want to add image and i'm going to go i'm not going to write anything so with my first slide selected i'll go to insert and then add image so i'm going to pick that image that i downloaded which is on my pc I'm going to show you that image. This is the image I want to use. So I'll just open this image this way. So this is the image I'm going to use. So this is just one image and that is what we're going to use to do everything. The focus is on the TV, the AC, the light, the table right here and our sofa. That is the focus area. So we want to focus on that just from this image. So the first thing we're going to do is that we'll duplicate this image. We'll duplicate this slide. Right click and go to what? Duplicate slide. And the first part is with this slide, we want to focus on the TV. So we want the TV to appear very large. Let's first zoom out on this image. So we can click on the down here, zoom out. And then now we can enlarge our image to focus on the TV. So you can uh, drag this out and then it will enlarge your image. You can see from our slide view over here, you can see what is happening. Our TV tend to appear very large. We can zoom out so that when you are, you are enlarging it, you can see it clearly. So you can see our TV is now appearing very big. So now I will focus on our TV. So that's the first part we want to do. So we focus on our TV and then we we'll duplicate this slide once again. And then this time we want to focus on our AC. So you can drag this image down here. You can see when you drag it with your slide view, you can see the AC is showing. But I want to focus on just the AC and not the light. This light will be focused on the next slide. So we'll focus on the AC this way. I think that is cool. We'll duplicate this image once again, right click, go to duplicate. And this time I want to focus on the light, just position it in a nice way for your light to appear. Okay, we can enlarge this a bit for us to focus more on the light. Okay, I think this is cool. We can see the light is appearing so well. Right click again, duplicate, and this time I want to focus on the chair over here. So we can move this up a bit and you can see the chair is now showing over here. Let's move it up a bit. Uh, we can enlarge it to at least resize this so if your image is not large or it's not having a high resolution this will tend to be very blur okay so we've positioned this this way and the last part is to focus on the sofa over here. so we'll duplicate this image lastly and then let's focus on our images over here. so you can see the sofa here tends to appear well and yeah so that is all we need up to this stage and finally, finally, what we'll do is that we'll get the full image back. So after we play the slide, we want to get our full image back as it is. So we'll go back to our first slide, duplicate it, 
duplicate it and we'll move it below we'll move it below the entire slide over here okay so once you are done with all this we're going to select the entire images together so select the first image press the shift key on your keyboard and then select the last image this way so to select your entire slide and then you'll go towards transitions and you can see we have morph so this is the transition we're going to use we're going to use a morph transition so when you click on the morph transition it will apply to all your slides over here so now let's go ahead and play this and see how it's going to show so go to slideshow and go to from beginning we want to play the slide from the beginning so when you click on this this is our first image we play this slide by pressing the down arrow and then it will move us to the tv play it again it will move us to the ac we play it again to move it to the light to play it again to move you to the chair play it again it will move you towards the sofa and finally it will bring you to the full image and showcase your entire interior of the building so this is basically what we want to do we want to do this and then it will help you a lot if you're a real estate developer you want to show the interior of a building to clients you can use this strategy to do that so you can use this to do so many amazing stuff and it will help you a lot a lot a lot and save you time i have another video coming up where i'm going to focus on how to use this same strategy to identify some key people with their position in a number of groups so you have a large, a large group and you just want to identify the manager secretary using this strategy i'm going to do that so in order not to miss that video consider subscribing and hit the like button so you don't miss any of my upcoming video so like come your way again stay tuned and continue with this in my channel bye bye